Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. There are monstrous predators who are women who think that if they take things from a man and wash them and put them back, that they'll be liked, they'll be cared for. That's a lie that they tell themselves. There are also very gross men who like to make someone into a toy for them, and that is immoral. A pagan priest knows the difference between one thing and another is true, but a man who claims to be Christian but is a stalker is nowhere near God's house today. When I'm dealing with the difficulties of my life, what I find is that people are ruining my clothing. They have taken black clothes and painted them brown. Either that or a particular product has been abused so that my clothes would turn brown. You see, when you live outdoors in the summertime, you sometimes need some sort of a deep woods off with DEET. And I realize that people don't like DEET for children, but most people don't put DEET on their skin. They put it on their clothing to keep the chiggers off the flies away and all the mosquitoes out of their place and into their own houses if you will when i make these comments i'm making common sense contents and common sense contents makes you go yep that's true and nope i don't agree with that or yeah i believe that and you go through it like that the liars of america like to lie and a liar of an american continent says i have the right to put my hands in your bags who is a stranger to me in every way take your clothing and cut off a zipper or cut holes in the pockets or take it and wash it inappropriately so that it shrinks the liars of america who are stupid and foolish do not pay attention to material handling tags someone's fashion belongs singly and solely to the individual a liar from a foreign community might say, we're going to emphasize this and we're going to de-emphasize that and we can go into the whole scene in Roxanne where he's trying to figure out what to do with his nose so that he's more attractive to Roxanne. But here's the reality. Only a gentle girl in that shop named Sandy knew what he was asking and why and knew how to handle it with some nervousness and some comedy that really flew back then. But what I can tell you today is that the liars of American continents are playing into our people that don't have a clue about life. And when I see that, you can see the absolute disparity of that relationship. Now when I talk about see people modifying clothes to make them smaller on someone, or so they can make them smaller so that they will not fit as well, we have a real problem. It is a form of abuse. It is along the lines of sexual harassment because clothing mark our bodies. Clothing protect our bodies and clothing, they often say, make the man. Any person who thinks they're going to take someone with any form of special needs or any unique condition or any sexuality and ruin their clothing is producing a monstrous hate crime. Your relationship with someone does not allow you to take any action without any individual's permission.